what is going on guys welcome back to a another video um this is just a quick one as they've done a little update um and it's called the 2024 morphin collectible guide and i thought i'd just make this video just to uh, make sure in case you wasn't aware um to collect um the molag ball illusion imp pet as soon as you can if you haven't already I know a lot of people might not be into uh, the non-combat pets and I'm not really a big fan of it um, but they have definitely made sure that um, if you collect the uh, three uh, fragments which is the anchor chain fragment, the dark anchor pinion and the effigy of, the, of Dominator if you get all three of them then obviously you're going to get the imp pet which isn't really anything special really it's just a non-combat pet um nothing to go crazy about but they have obviously revealed um also that what it will lead to so if you have this as a base this actual uh, non-combat pet just in case you didn't know um you need it to obtain uh, the q1 events first um uh, reward uh, so if you gain the next three uh, pieces of fragments uh, with your event tickets then you'll be able to get the plane melds master body and face markings so to get the obviously the body markings you need to have this pet so make sure even if you're not interested in the pet it's going to lead to better and bigger things later down the line and the good news is you don't have to get the markings if you want the q2 or q3 or q4 events um rewards which is really nice so as long as you've got the imp pet you can either choose to have the q1 2 3 or 4 or or have all of them but you don't have to worry so say if you miss the q1 event a uh, reward say the body markings or you're not interested it doesn't matter as long as you've got the pet then you can get the Q2 event, which I do believe is the uh, personality. Um, the new personality that's coming out, I think it's Master of Schemes, I think it might be called. I think that's the Q2 event one. So that's really good news because, again, I'm not really interested in the markings too much, but I'm, I am interested in the personalities as they're quite unique. There's not loads of them in the game, whereas body markings and uh, non-combat pets, there's quite a lot of them. So they're not really anything to go crazy about. They're still nice to have because it's all free stuff. But um, obviously when you get personalities and mounts, they're just a bit more uh, appetising, should we say. So that's really good news. But yeah, make sure you claim this pet as soon as you can. The event tickets are super easy to um, farm. I've got a uh, guide in case you want to in case you don't know you should know hopefully but just in case you're a total beginner um make sure you get this pet i said it it's only it's only three fragments um and just get them you'll get them nice and easy fairly quickly and then once you've got that pet you've got that pet because i was also going to make the same mistake um, I wasn't actually going to farm for the pet because I thought, oh, it's just a non-combat pet. I'm not interested, but get it because you don't know what these um, Q2, 3 and 4 uh, rewards are going to be. And they are linked to that pet. Okay, so I reckon Q2 is going to be a personality, like I've said already. And the other one could be a mount. And even sometimes um, it could be a house as well or something really good and exciting. But you need this pet. So I'm just putting it out there. I hope this video helps people. Uh, drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the videos. I've got plenty more to come. See you in the next one.